What's up everybody? I'm Andrew from the Southern Outdoorsman and today we're reviewing the brand new phase kit from First Light. So we actually got to hunt with the phase kit all last season. So in this video, you're gonna get a technical understanding of the phase kit and you're also gonna get our opinions of it after having hunted with it in several states all deer season. So one of the main features of this whole kit is that it is a fleece soft shell. So it's A, very quiet and B, it's also windproof. We got to test this out last year, specifically in Arkansas. We we're up in Arkansas doing a hunt uh, via boat. We were hunting whitetails and we were actually running in this kit on our boat about 35 miles an hour before daylight, after dark, every day going in and out of our spots. And this soft shell kept the wind off of us. It was actually very comfortable pairing up the bibs and the jacket. We were able to stay pretty toasty on our way to the stand. Uh, another feature is again, with it being a fleece, it's so quiet that you can bow hunt in this. There's absolutely no sound. Before First Light had their catalyst line, which was their soft shell jacket before this, this replaces the catalyst line. And this is quieter than the catalyst. If you're familiar with that system, this is actually more quiet than that. As far as temperature ranges go, it's gonna be different for everybody. Uh, I'm from Alabama, I primarily hunt in the Southeast. So for our temperature ranges, this is a really, really versatile piece. I start wearing it whenever the temperatures get down into the 50s. And really throughout most of our deer season, our highs kind of hover around in the 50s. And then when we get cold fronts, we'll get further down into the 30s. For probably 90% of hunts, I was able to wear this jacket. On the warmer hunts, I'm walking in with something like this. This is the Yuma base layer. Uh, and then when I get to the stand, I'll put the phase on over the top of this. When, I, when it gets a little bit colder, I still might be walking in with something like this, maybe down into the 40s or the 30s, and then just add an extra layer over my base layer and then put the jacket on top of that. So this is my phase jacket. This is the same one that I wore all last deer season. And I wanted to show it to you guys to compare it to this brand new phase system. Uh, again, the camo didn't really fade. I hunted with it in the rain, washed it a bunch of times. Also, I took it through a lot of briar thickets here in the deep south. Didn't rip a hole in it. There's no pulls on it or anything like that anywhere. And I also wanted to show you what it looks like actually on me with my layering system. Again, I have that uh, Yuma base layer on as my base layer. And then I've got this furnace hoodie on second, and then I've got the phase jacket on third. This is going to get me through most hunts here in Alabama, unless we have a really bad cold front where it gets a little bit colder. Uh, this is pretty much what I'm wearing 90% of the season. And I wanted to show it to you guys also because this system is very thin uh, from the side. You know, it's not a lot of clothes that I have on, but this keeps me very, very warm. And it's very easy to shoulder a rifle or draw a bow in this system. So overall, my opinion of this piece is it's super versatile. It's probably my favorite piece of gear that I own from First Light. Like I said, the temperature range that I hunt with this is going to be from the 50s down to the 30s. Uh, so for me, again, coming from a Southerner's perspective, that's going to get me through most of our season. If you're a Southern guy, this is going to be probably the most versatile piece of clothing that you can buy. And I would highly recommend this. Uh, if you're in the Midwest, you might need some bigger jackets to get through that middle part of the season. If you're more of a Midwest hunter or if you hunt further north, this is going to be more of your early to mid season jacket, as opposed to, again, us down here in the South, this is going to get you through most of your deer season. All right, guys, this is Jacob Myers from the Southern Outdoorsman. I'm really excited to give you my personal take on the new face jacket and bibs from First Light. Again, like Andrew mentioned earlier, this is something we wore all last season, and I found it to be an extremely versatile piece. And again, really functional, especially for someone that not only hunts the Southeast, but will also go hunt other states outside the Southeast and the functionality of how this piece can really flow for your setup right now. I'm gonna work from the top to the bottom, going over some of the features that I find the most important from this jacket and bib setup, again, the phase, and then kind of show you how I actually use this and how some of these features were really valuable for me this past fall hunting and again, a few different states. So from the top, you have a very sleek hood design that also is removable, has a zipper system on the back so you can remove the hood. I do that sometimes because I only like to use the hood when it's the absolute most windiest condition because I want to be able to hear as much as I can. But again, the hood works extremely well blocking that wind and light rain again in those situations when you're hunting in those conditions. Next, as we go down the jacket, you have the two breast pockets on the top of the jacket that are zippered. Again, it's an easy place to put a phone in or if you have a bino harness on, you can still get your phone to your pockets. But also again, if you're a saddle hunter, you can put your hands up in those pockets if you want some place to rest your hand, keep your hands warm without actually go through the kit link system that maybe your bridge may block. As we go lower down the jacket, you have the two large, what I call the belly pockets on this jacket, which is next to your kit link system. These are very large pockets. You can actually put you know, a pair of gloves in, you can put your phone in. Again, it's another place to be able to store a few items on you that you may need in a split second when you're up in the stand. But also, 
The big feature about this jacket that I really love is the new magnetic kit link system. In the past, this kit link system had been a zippered system, and especially in colder conditions, when you get your hands in there, the zippers would actually grab onto the sleeves and pull your sleeves up so you had more of your hand exposed or your gloves exposed when you were in your bibs. Now with the new magnetic kit link system, you're able to get in here and there's no resistance on your wrist once you get into your bibs. That's a really big deal for me for more comfortability and also staying warmer longer when you're in the field. Also, another feature about the jacket that I really like is a two-way zipper system. You have a zipper from the top and you also have a zipper from the bottom. This can help with layering, but also, again, in certain situations, you may need to be able to vent out that jacket and you can vent out very easily and get some of that heat to dump out by unzipping the bottom of the jacket and opening it up for you. Also, on the back of the jacket, you have a tree stand harness pass-through. So again, you can have your safety harness underneath this jacket if you're using a tree stand and again, not have all the bulk of that strap coming out the top of the hood. Again, a feature First Light's had now in their whitetail line for a few years. Since the phase jacket and bibs are replacing the catalyst system from First Light, one big upgrade they made was the new cuff links, the gusseted cuffs on these jackets to really snug it down to kind of seal in a lot more of your heat. And also, if you're in some light rain conditions and so that water's running off you, again, be able to keep your upper arms dry by sealing that off around the cuff. So for the phase jacket, I wore it an absolute ton last season. I wore the bibs a lot too, but the jacket to me was extremely functional from roughly about 55 degrees, especially on those, those days when it's in the mid 50s on an afternoon hunt and you have a pretty good breeze going. It really cuts that wind down really nicely. And then the bibs, I'd start wearing the bibs when it got down into the 40s, all the way down to the coldest I wore this system down was 28 degrees. Now I'm built a little bit different from Andrew, but again, I found I found it to be very comfortable wearing all the way down to 28 degrees with my layering system, which I'll get to in just a moment. Also, another big feature when you're talking about the jacket and bibs is how compact they are when you're packing them in. I don't typically wear the face jacket and bibs into the field. I typically pack it down in my backpack and I wear more base layers going in, even if it's a colder day, just so I don't sweat so much getting to my stand location. And these jack the jacket and the bibs compress really nicely down your backpack to not take up a ton of room, but still add plenty of warmth once you get to the stand. The new fleece face fabric that First Light's using on both the phase jacket and the bibs are huge for being more quiet when you're in the field. I had a buck last year I shot at six yards on a very calm morning after I'd called him in. And because he got so close, I couldn't see him until he was within 20 yards of me and be able to get up quietly, get in position and get ready for the shot really helped out by not worrying about any kind of exterior movement on my arms, potentially brush up against my side in order to make any kind of swishing sound that you can get with other face fabrics. So that's a really big point about the new phase system that I truly enjoy. As we get to the bibs now, I want to kind of explain a couple other features that I find really valuable from a whitetail hunter's perspective. Of course, with the first light bibs, these phase bibs, you're gonna have the muff pocket here, your chest pocket for your hands, which works with the kit link system to be able to get to that from the outside of your jacket. You also have a chest pocket here. Sometimes in certain situations, I'll drop my phone in there if I'm not wearing the jacket, especially if I'm leaving the tree stand, if I don't have it in another place, it works really well for that. And also putting your keys here, again, keeping them in a place that you're not gonna lose them, but again, it also keeps them quiet with that face fabric with it being the fleece. As we're looking down at the thighs on the phase bibs, you have on each lay a large cargo pocket that is very streamlined. It's not a baggy pocket. It's very, very streamlined with the system. And the one interesting thing, of course you have magnetic closure on the top of the pockets on both legs that you can get down to your pocket, but you also have a side zip access point on the inside of your thighs to be able to get to those pockets. With the cargo pockets, again, being streamlined, I really do like that inside zipper access point to be able to get to the pockets. It's a lot easier to get to your pockets that way when you're in a tree stand or if you're in a saddle. Also another feature you've come to love about First Light when it comes to their bibs is the full side zip. This makes it much easier to get your bibs off and on, especially if you have boots on, because again, that side zip two-way zipper, one on the top, one on the bottom, allows you to get in and out of your bibs very easily, even with boots on. Also has the cinch buckle system on both the right and left hip, so you can fine tune your fit with your bibs. That's a big feature, especially when you're starting to wear it a little bit earlier in the season, when you start getting down those 40s, you maybe don't need a lot of base layers underneath, but once you start getting the furnace bottoms on, 
uh, or even the origin pants underneath the bibs, you're gonna wanna have a little bit more expansion there and that's what that buckle system really allows you to do to fine tune that fit of those bibs. So like I mentioned earlier, I like to pack in my phase jacket and bibs when going into the field. Again, for one reason, not to get sweaty before I get to the tree stand. And number two, so I don't get burrs and stickers and stuff in the face fabric of the bibs or the jacket. With the face fabric being fleece, you will have beggar's lice and cuckle burrs and stuff like that stickers get onto your pants and your jacket. One easy way to remedy that is just using like what's called burr paws and you can actually brush off very easily uh, the cuckle burrs and the beggar's lice off your bibs and your jacket to keep them nice and clean and again, not have them just bound up on you. You can actually look in the show notes below of the video and we'll have that link down there for you to check out. So my overall impressions after hunting with this phase jacket and bib kit last year, all season, it's extremely versatile. Again, for me personally, wearing it from about 55 degrees with the jacket and then start implementing the bibs around the upper 40s, all the way down to 28 degrees was the coldest I hunted in last year. It worked extremely well. And when it started getting colder, what I would wear for my base layers is the furnace bottoms, the furnace quarter zip top, and then the source vest underneath the jacket. And that worked fine for me. Everybody's gonna be a little bit different on your temperature range or where you feel comfortable. But especially as a Southerner, this gets me through majority of actually my whole season. As you'll see in a future review, as we talk about the core system that just launched, I wore that jacket a few times last year to try it out. But really this got me through our whole season last year of hunting Georgia, Alabama, and Arkansas. So it works extremely well for us down here in the South. And again, if you're in the Midwest, this is something that worked really well for you throughout November and probably even early December. If you'd like to check out the phase jacket and bibs, you can click the link down in the video description below. Well guys, if you like this video, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and check out the Southern Outdoorsman podcast. You can watch it on YouTube or on all audio major platforms. So thank y'all for watching. We'll catch you back here for the next gear review or podcast from the Southern Outdoorsman.